Hi boys and girls, today you're going to learn how to make a clock. You're actually going to have a little art project. So you will need these supplies. You'll need two paper plates, a ruler, a pencil and eraser, a thick black marker, three different colored pens or pencils, scissors and a thumbtack. Alright, so get your first paper plate ready and you're going to add some numbers, all right, and do it in this order. Start with 12 at the very top, and then right opposite it, put the six. Then you're gonna write nine, and right opposite, you're gonna put a three. And then you're gonna add one, and right opposite the one, you're gonna do a seven. See how they're right opposite each other. Then you're gonna do a two, and right opposite the two, you're going to do an eight, and you can see you've got six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three. Now watch what's going to happen next. Ten and four, and finally eleven and nine. And if you space them kind of evenly, you should have a very nice looking face, or clock face. Okay? All right, now you're going to need your ruler. All right, so the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw through the center of your clock. So kind of find the center first, and you're gonna draw a vertical line straight down the middle. Remember, vertical means up and down. So you're gonna start at the 12, and you're gonna to go to the six. Then you're gonna go from the nine to the three. All right, do it with the ruler, nice and neat. Then you're going to do it this time from the 10 to the 4 and from the 11 to the 5. Then you're going to do it from the 8 to the 2 and from the 7 to the 1. And if you need to pause this video while you do that, go ahead and do that. All right. When all said and done, this is what it should look like. All right. And at this point, you can really go over your numbers, your digits on your clock with a black marker so that you can really see them. And you can also add the minutes if you like. Remember that you only put four marks in between. Look at this, one, two, three, four, between each number because the first digit is from there to there is one minute, two, three, four, and five. So you only put four marks in between, one, two, three, four. And one whole section, or one, I call these the hour rooms. This whole section is called a room, all right? And you'll see what I mean in just a little bit. Okay, so do that neatly. And now you're going to color in each of the rooms, all right? You only need three colors. Please don't use any more. Remember what I just said, only use three colors. I used pink and a sort of green, yellow, and a teal. So between the 12 and the one, you're going to do pink, if, or if that's the color you chose, pick what color. Between the three and the four, the six and the seven, and the nine and the 10, All right? Then between the 10 and the 11, the one and two, the four and five and the seven and eight, you're going to do another color. And then your final color, the third color, you're going to do between 11 and 12, two and three, five and six, eight and nine. All right, if you need to pause the video and make sure that you're doing this correctly, please do so now. And this is what it should look like. Okay, we started off like that. And now it looks like that. And we're using color power. All right, now you're going to, in each room, I call these the hour rooms. So this is the 12 room, this is the two room, I'm sorry, the one room, the two room, the three room, the four room, the five room, the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11. And the reason why I call these the room the rooms of those numbers is that anytime the hour hand is in this section, that means that's the hour you're in. All right. So now you're going to use your second paper plate and you're going to draw a long 
minute hand and you're going to draw a short hour hand. You're going to color them in and then you're going to attach them with a tack and then you have your clock and you can play with that and you can practice with it. All right, I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing a picture of the clocks that you've created. All right.